Oh, my goodness. Have any of you been to Yellowstone Park? You know in Yellowstone Park they have things called geysers? This is our artificial geyser, and it works by the same principle. You know the temperature water boils at? Who knows? Yeah. 212 degrees Fahrenheit, or 100 degrees Celsius. But you know that's not quite right. That's true only at sea level, only at atmospheric pressure. When you pressurize something, it boils at a higher temperature. And that's what's happening here. We have a column of water that's about so high, and it's being heated from the bottom. And because of the column of water, the pressure is quite high down there, just like in the bottom of a swimming pool. Um, and so it doesn't boil at 212 degrees, but it goes higher. But of course, eventually it will boil. When it does, that relieves the pressure. And then it boils very vigorously and shoots the water and the steam up into the air where it cools down, comes into contact with the cold air, and it runs back down, and the heating begins again. And that's exactly how geysers work in Yellowstone Park. They're crevices that run deep down under the earth. Water runs down into those crevices. It's heated by the hot rock. And then every hour or so, um, a geyser will go off and, uh, and uh, throw water up into the sky, and then it all starts again.